Hello everyone, this is uh, an AutoCAD uh, demonstration. The intention of this uh, demo is to help those who have used AutoCAD in the past to refresh their memory on uh, what the whole software is about. Um, as we know, AutoCAD is a very popular 2D CAD system and been used for years in the industry. So this is a good chance for those who have learned the software in the past but would like to remember how it works and all the major and important aspects of it. It's also uh, important for those who uh, are interested in learning the software. This is a good general overview. Uh, we're not going to discuss every aspect of AutoCAD, but we're going to uh, discuss the stuff that's the most important uh, part of it. Uh, that is the day-to-day -day tasks that um, all of us have to um, come, come across uh, during our job. So we're going to start by uh, clicking on uh, New. And as you can see, we're uh, starting in a template mode uh, where we can pick our template and click open. I personally don't prefer this method. Uh, what I like is what they call the classical startup dialog box. Unfortunately, it's been taken away from AutoCAD in recent releases. So if I pick ACAD DWT, which is the AutoCAD template, and I hit open, it starts in a specific mode. But I have no idea what I started in. So at the command line, type start up and hit enter. You'll notice that the variable is set to 0. If I set it to 1 and hit enter, you'll find if I start from scratch again, it will pop up with this dialog box. And it will give me the option between imperial, which is feet and inches, or metric. Uh, and that's called starting from scratch. But you can also still go back to using a template and pick whichever one you're after. Maybe it could be a company template that has all the details and has all the information that pertains to your design. Uh, but starting from scratch is a really good one if you're uh, not interested in following a specific standard. I'm going to pick Imperial and I'm going to hit OK. That's one of the more important options uh, when starting with AutoCAD. A lot of people may miss that. As you can see, for those who have used it in the past, there's a new ribbon display on top. Um, personally, I've grown to like it. Um, it's very consistent, easy to learn, and uh, quite easy to navigate. Uh, the only thing is that it takes a while to find the icons that you're used to, uh, that you've had in the classical views of AutoCAD. Uh, so generally speaking, if you click on the tabs, that will produce different icons every single time. And now going back to the home position, that should allow you to access the draw menu, <coughs> the modify menu, and the later property menu, and so on and so forth. Um, you'll notice that there are no toolbars on the left and the, or the right because everything has been moved to the ribbon, which is the new display style. Um, and a lot of CAD systems are actually moving towards that direction, such as Inventor or SolidWorks. Now, if you're interested in going back to the original classical interface, it's actually fairly easy. And uh, all it takes is to go down to the bottom right corner, click on the gear icon, and where it says workspace switching. As you can see, I have several here. What I'm interested in right now is something called AutoCAD Classic. If I click on it, you'll find that AutoCAD will switch the entire interface and give you back the old classical view that we've always been used to. And uh, to many, that's a preferred um, layout and a lot of people are comfortable with this user interface. It's completely up to you. I personally recommend that you move on to the ribbon as it is the future of most uh, CAD interfaces. Now AutoCAD comes with a lot of help related topics so if I click on help and I click again on help or hit F1 on the keyboard you can see that it launches the help system so you can definitely go under content and uh, look at for instance commands um, you can look at user variables that we discussed such as the startup uh, or go look at different utilities that are available to you. Um, it's a really good resource for those who are interested in more details on any topic such as user interface or uh, coordinate systems or annotating your drawings. Next you can go into index and search for any commands. So for example if I say trim it will come up with the trim command. Now, If I double click on it it will give me three tabs. One is a quick reference explaining um, where it is in the ribbon uh, if it does exist at all uh, where is it in the toolbars, uh, where is it in the menus, and it kind of gives you a quick concept of what the whole tool does. Uh, you also go into uh, Procedure, 
and it gives you step by step on how to do specific things and uh, you can always go back and look at different instructions for various approaches and of course the entire concept of trimming is also discussed here giving you into more, more insight into how this particular tool would work you can also still search for the word trim and it will come up with every single uh, occurrence of where that word happens to be inside the help system so that's about the help file of course there are way more resources online uh, that you can consult uh, for example if I were to go into uh, beyond my blog and uh, you can google auto desk discussion so there's a lot of discussion happening online for those who are interested in uh, learning more about the software and if I click on AutoCAD notice the different flavors of AutoCAD that are available there's probably 11 or 12 different ways AutoCAD flavors or vertical solutions that are available if I click on AutoCAD on top here the standard AutoCAD you can find that uh, the version that we're after is 2009 you can still go into 2010 as well and uh, acquire help about that specific version and as you can see there's a lot of discussion happening from real people uh, getting real replies so it's a very good resource online for those who are look looking for a quick answer from the experts so that's uh, what the help file can do for us AutoCAD uses the function keys uh, quite heavily uh, the ones on the keyboard of course uh, such as like we said if we hit F1 uh, that should produce the help file um, also for example if I hit uh, if, if I start a line for instance and I would like to straighten that line or make it ortho F8 on the keyboard makes it straight so now it only goes horizontal or vertical clicking F8 again releases it from being straight if you like to display your grid you can hit F7 F7 again hides it um, now what corresponds to the F keys on the keyboard are these icons here now for those who like the classical way which had actual names or words instead of icons what you can do is right click here and there's something called use icon disable that by clicking on it and you can see that the old classical way is available to us so now if I click grid I can see it if I click ortho it will also make it straight or crooked um, blue means it's active uh, gray means it's inactive uh, so I personally like to see the actual word as opposed to uh, the icons that being said uh, some people um, like the idea of looking at model space and paper space or layout space um, the new way actually if I hide the layout and model space tab you'll find that it disappears There's, there are no more tabs down here the reason why is because they've moved it to this icon here now if you right click on it you have the ability to display the layout and model tabs just like the old-fashioned way and now you can see them all here so for those who like the classical method it's still available now one of the best things about AutoCAD itself is actually the keyboard shortcuts that you can type in at the command line so for those who've uh, experienced AutoCAD you know that you can type in circle and we'll start the circle command you can easily just go in and type in what and create whatever circle you're after whatever size uh, the interesting thing too is if you know the shortcut for that particular command for instance for circle we can all we have to do is type in C and hit enter and that actually starts the circle command as well um, on my blog I will be uploading the uh, AutoCAD command line shortcut list uh, here in a PDF format so anybody can go ahead and download that particular uh, list uh, what I've done too is highlighted the commands that are commonly in use uh, in bold so for instance arc array uh, chamfer or uh, editing all these different commands are highlighted uh, so that you can actually uh, print it and have it right beside you on the desk and have access to it so I highly recommend that you keep this one handy and uh, once you learn these commands you actually do not need to look at all these different icons in fact they become almost uh, unusable uh, so whether you are in the ribbon display or right within the classical it really does not matter because you know the command line shortcut uh, for that particular tool that you're looking for